The sun is bright, and my mind has finally come alive. I've outgrown myself, progressed past the larvae stage and begun the slow build of my new home, habitat, a newfound chrysalis. This is a self-inflicted metamorphosis, the formation of something unknown, unfamiliar, and untainted. I spent my 24th birthday alone. No cakes or dinners, no flash photography or fanfare. I wanted peace. No people, no one to please. I sought solitude within my thoughts and silence amongst the city breeze. I laid there in the blades of grass, drifting into the overhead of skies and sparrows, thinking to myself, I feel at home because I am comfortable alone. Five months ago, I quit my job. It was one of those moments in life, a Hollywood scene where the lead actor gets out the cab in New York, two strangers lock eyes across the room, or in this case, a 23-year-old girl stares blindly at the stars and realizes, oh, this all means something. Five months is no short amount of time. In the grand tale of an average person's lifetime, five months is perhaps the equivalent of a sneeze. But when you're sitting in it, really, truly, Breathing in the seconds with nowhere to go, the white noise can be stifling. That's a new lesson I've learned on nearly a quarter of a centennial. Some, if not most, are unprepared to ask themselves what it is they truly seek. We shy away from the truth and waste time placating one another with false speech. People often ask questions with no regard for a truthful answer. Do you not feel panic? I wish I could do that. What do you do all day? Okay, but what about after? Will you be like this forever? Forever. Bit of a long time, that word. Forever. I'm barely this person you see right now. I'm changing. Stepping into the new stage of the cycle, pupa. Not yet fully fledged, but no longer just beginning. What about you? I want to ask. When you look at me, what do you see? Most of you are too nervous to meet my eyes when you attempt to speak. They often glare or revert back into their shadows. How else do they want me to react? Is it so foreign to want to do different things? Friends and family, colleagues and community. They say you are the culmination of the five closest souls within your reach. I want to change mine, refresh and redo, become unrecognizable new mind, new rules. Some people can't handle that. They'll brand you as disloyal, a narcissist, blood and water, years of tenure and matching last names. It's all right, it's good. They're allowed to see my decision as personal and selfish. Weed yourself out. I can finally rest my shears. People grow apart and the world continues turning. This is leveling up mindset, and maturing. I will admit, their questions have brushed my mind before. Doubts have been casted, fear and ego are weaponized by no one more than the brain that controls my two feet. After all, I am the eldest child. The one who bore the title as leader in the acute authority. The experiment and expectation. The one who passed things along, the hand-me-downs, the tell them I said, and the words others fear to be spoken. I was the one my siblings called, the one my parents forced to arbitrate, age not a factor, boundaries not included. Yes, I am the one. No praise for what's expected. And it's worse when you bear a womb. The pressure is sharper and the eyes multiply. Wrong when we're right, a show-off when we wear our crown too proudly, and a bitch for shining too bright. Do you truly have parents when you raise yourself? Do you have family when you double as sibling and savior? They cycled their past through you, passed along the curse to you. Yet, we are self-righteous, a plague, cocky, hubris as a person. A person. Funny how that never comes first. Sometimes, sometimes I wish I could go back and pluck myself from the stream of time. I tell 22-year-old Cecilia that it's okay to have no answers. Relax your jaw and stop glancing over your shoulders. Most people are idiots. So follow your intuition and sit down with yourself and ask, 
before you commit to a career, a person, or a lifestyle sold to you, what about you? Do you think any of this will last? I tell 18-year-old Cecilia that this disappointment you feel after you left home only to see the same cycles inflicted is not your guilt to bear. Your bruises and scars have not been treated. To walk away does not mean you've been defeated. Karma is real and it can be cruel. Continue forward and release yourself from the past. The universe is an unbiased entity and it remembers and it always delivers lessons right back. And I tell 13-year-old Cecilia exactly this. You are the eldest daughter. No one really sees you until you've chosen to let yourself fall. You're mean, impatient, and far too practical. Confidence too high, yet your expectations for others so low, relationships are viewed as contractual. And you know, you know when your fangs are out that this is what you've been waiting for. You've expected this, practiced, eager for a fight. We are expected to perform, the true head of the house, always barking, always ready to bite. But you are but a fish who doesn't know it's in water. That's what I would say. The current is unpredictable and you're not always going to be this way. Your mindset matters. What you think is what you will be, so look forward. You will learn that with time. It will be painful and you'll wonder what you participate in the system for. One that couldn't care less if you have a working brain or voice with opinions. One you can barely afford. But right now, you are here. Age whatever, location unknown. Perhaps it's raining and you glanced out the window and realized you're far from home. You have a tendency to be so curious you drive yourself insane. It's never quiet unless you write about everything, anything, anything to silence your brain. Sometimes you feel 13 again and you don't think things will be all right. What does it mean to exist? to walk alongside others? Are we capable of fully knowing another person? Are we compassionate enough to try? I filled journals about this for years. Will this be how I'm remembered? Why do we seek to be immortalized? The silence is rare and the questions never stop flowing. Will I always be this way? How do I make it stop? Can I? Will I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? The sun is bright and my mind has finally come alive. I spent my 24th birthday alone. I've put my weapons down because I don't need them anymore. It's not worth living your life being angry. Feel what you feel and allow it to be fuel, but not the reason. When you've outgrown your habitat, the strain will be something that one day you will no longer be able to take. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale, allow it to break. You've got to let the past go. No victimizing and no more running until you have no place left to be. When something is wrong, you have to do something about it. Pull yourself together like always, but do it for yourself this time. Be selfish, be honest. And I see you, my shadow in the mirror. Sometimes I don't recognize the apparition mimicking my face. I'm changing so violently, altered just so slightly. It's not me looking back but it's not the same person from the past. I'm learning to grasp my shadow by its hand and allow myself to ignite. We gaze at each other from across the room and never look any other way. There's no need to fight. Now I am anything, everything, whatever can be promised. I have satisfied no goals, but to say I've done nothing would be dishonest. This joy, the satisfaction of living, this, this is what I wanted. And I'm okay. Because right now, I feel alive. It's that simple. I feel pain, gratitude, hope amongst agony. My heart burns and sometimes it feels like I'm on fire. I'm weaving my chrysalis and the future is bright. I don't know when I'll rupture and who will be revealed to me. But right now, it doesn't matter. This time, I face the beaming rays. My shadow is etched along my jaw and painted deep into my roots and canines. 
we stand hand in hand, burning, laughing, beaming from eye to eye. This is it, I sobbed. This time, the light is truly mine. <laughs>